As I was by myself, I started having visions, sort of knowledges of things that would come through, like something was downloaded into me. I would think of something historical and look it up online and find out it did happen before, but I've never heard about it. So I started thinking either you're becoming bonkers or I don't know, maybe you're having a mental breakdown or something else is happening here. And this was the beginning of a very long and deep spiritual journey for me. I can see it, I can feel it, I can breathe it, I can see it And then, on a stormy night, everything changed for me. It's like I had a calling, for lack of a better word. I suddenly knew, like I remembered, I was here for a different purpose. And it was way greater than what I thought of before. I can see it, I can feel it, I can breathe it, I can see it The more I would prove that my predictions were right, the more I personally felt validated. Maybe I was a psychic or whatever that was. The more I felt validated, I remember that's when the electronics started happening. I started noticing that my electronics and electric surroundings started to act funny based on how I was feeling. Like if I was upset, the TV would become static. And it's a digital TV, we're not talking about an old TV. The computer would start freezing, the car would start, the light would flicker. Light flickering is almost a daily thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it was happening at the studio. The engineer was like, what is going on? Tracks would disappear completely. The mic would sound funny. The amp or this specific um, machine would just like not respond to the proper comment. So the people closest to me, my producer and my engineer, started joking around when something would go crazy. Oh, that's her. That's Cece. Don't worry about it. Also, just before filming this interview, which makes me so nervous and uncomfortable, the lights in my bathroom started being crazy. It happens all the time. Everything could just be a coincidence, but if it happens often enough, you have to wonder, could it be a possibility that I'm actually triggering this? I'm not saying it has to be supernatural. It could just be something scientific that I just don't know about where uh, a person's energy fields affect electrics and electronics. It might be something that I just haven't heard of. There must be something in the air tonight.